Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm um, being a part of another collab video. This one was started by NAC57, Miss Nora. Um, I will have a link to her channel and anyone else that was involved in this collab down below in the comments section or, you know, for you to go check out. But today, we're going to be doing the collab using these new plates that we got through Nora. These are the and I don't know that I'm going to pronounce it right. Ha La Casadora. Um, and I will try to get a link for these. Um, I've heard that selling them on Etsy and on Amazon, as well as maybe, you know, a, a site just for them. So I've decided today I'm going to use all of the plates. I'm going to pull an image off of each plate to put on this lovely manicure I have on here. Look at that. What is this? I will tell you. This is Super Chick Lacquers Spill It, and this is from the Spilled Tea Collection. Um, so I will be using all five plates, the Four Seasons and the India plate. And today I'm going to try to keep it a little simple, and I'm going to use my Nicole Diary stamping polishes in black, white, gold, and silver. I'm just going to keep it kind of mixed up. I know this is going to just but you have to take risk. I know it sounds like this is just going to be a hot mess, and it might be. But if it is, I'm still going to share it with you. So the gold is NS03, the white is NS01, the black is NS02, and the silver is NS04. Um, I will also be using my clear jelly stamper scraper. And today I'm going to be using, hopefully, my Conad Stamper. So I'm going to get everything together and we're going to get started on this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we go. We're just going to start doing some images. Now I decided to just put this little one on my pinky. And, you know, it's one of those things. The more I looked at it, the more I decided it needed something else. You'll see it at the end. And here we go with some layering. Now, I'm just doing the butterfly off of this plate. I decided that, um, you know, I didn't want to crowd the nail or make it look too, you know, I don't know what the word's for, too, too junked up. Okay, you can see that did not stick, so I'm breaking out my sticky base coat from Pro FX, and I'm just going to apply that to my nails and just be done with it, because I don't want to be struggling today. But I'm gonna tell you just right now off the get-go I'm loving these little layered plates I just think they're so cool I've always wanted to be able to use layering plates and um, you know there's a lot of them out there uh, you know, clear jelly stamper got that ball rolling I, as far as I know they're the, the first ones I ever saw that had them and I'm really glad to see that you know, it's it's a trend that's continuing. Because a lot of times you do want detailed and different colors and this kind of stuff is just cool. Okay, now I'm tickled with this butterfly. How cute. And now I'm gonna do the little bird. And I'm gonna start with its little wing and I'm doing it in gold. I am using a little piece of tape to get up excess design that I don't want. And I know this gold is kind of hard to see on this screaming hollow, <laughs> but it, um, like I said, I was just using these four colors, and so I'm working with what I have out. I just, I'm really happy with how these images are picking up. I'm not having any troubles. And we do like it when it's trouble free. There we go with the base of the bird. That little cute little bird. Now I had a piece that didn't stick. So I'm going to apply a little bit more. And it's because that it was on that curvy, curvy side. Nothing's wrong with the plate. Um, but look, on that little curvy, curvy side, I didn't roll it good enough. And watch this. We're going to band-aid it. There we go like it never happened. And now we're going to do the outline. It's so cute. I do love watching the birds. 
we have a bird feeder out back, but we call it our squirrel feeder because we got some fat little squirrels that like to eat off of it too. There we go. We're going to get some of that excess up. Really, really enjoying these plates. I am just so excited to share this with you and <clears throat> I will leave links. I don't know if I said it earlier, but I will leave links. You know, some of my friends here have um, hooked me up with links on Amazon and Etsy. So now I'm going to do this hibiscus and I'm really excited about that one. You can see I was scraping too hard. We're going to get that, got to get that base down without a big old hole in it. And now look, y'all, I'm being real brave. I broke out the stamper. I see people do this all the time and I, I never do it because I'm just not that good. But I am going to go back to my little piece of tape when it comes to up close. <laughs> I know you got to practice things to get better, but you know, got a little practice. Now let's go back to the regular way. I rolled that one pretty good. And I'm going to clean that plate off because I don't want um, any of that white over on the other part that I'm doing right now. And I am cleaning this plate off with pure acetone, and it has not done anything to it. Nothing bad. Just cleaned it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's got, <clears throat> pardon me, I think it's got a really good etching on it, and they've used some really good materials on this plate, so I don't think the acetone's ever going to be, you know, an issue on this plate or any of the other ones in this collection. They're, I think they're, they're just fine. They're going to be totally good. I am having to go in. I did have another piece. That's my really curvy nail. And now I'm do, I saved this image for last because this one was the one I was most looking forward to. The little girl with the blowing hair. The wind blown hair. I was so excited because this one's got four layers to it. And, oh, I was so stinking excited about this. And I measured it out, made sure it would fit on my thumb. So we've got her hair down in gold, and now we're doing her face in white. If I can get it turned around right. Oh, she comes together just beautifully. And now for her little dress, her outfit. I guess it's a dress. It could be a long raincoat. I don't know. But I'm calling it a dress today. Line that up right there. Now it's looking a little hard to see, but that's where this black outline comes into play and just does an amazing job. Ugh. She's so stinking cute. Such a doll baby. I knew when I saw this plate that this was going to be one of the first images that I had to use. So there we go. Make sure to get all that excess up that we don't want. Now to line it up really well. And I pretty much do a pretty good job on that. Look how cute she is. Yay. I've decided to add these little hearts to that pinky that I talked about earlier. And I'm going to do them in black. Um, I didn't want to go just too crazy with this design, but I did want to do some serious playing with these plates and give it a good road test and, um, and share lots of different images. So there we go. Adorable. So I'm going to apply some of the smudge free top coat. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. That smudge free top coat I keep using for Bundle Monster. It's like I'm addicted to it. And now I'm applying my posh top coat. I was trying to skip a step. Didn't mean to shortchange you. So I hope you liked my manicure. I've got a swatch, couple of swatch photos coming up. And I will definitely have links to all the other ladies that participated in this collab down below. I would love for you to go check them all out. And here we have the swatch photos. I'd love to hear 
what you think about this. Leave me a comment down below, and I will talk to you later. Until next time, be good to yourself.